I am very excited to talk to you about polyaspartic fluoros today. I have been experimenting with them for years. I have been developing my own polyaspartic products. And today I want to talk to you about what makes polyaspartic fluoros so special. They are the next generation in fluorine products. So imagine getting the best features of epoxy and the best features of polyurethane and combining them in one. That is what polyaspartics are. And let's start with the most, perhaps the best, the biggest benefit. Polyaspartics cure very quickly. So you can have them, they are touch free within two to three hours. So imagine applying a coat on a floor and within two or three hours you can recoat that floor. That's how, that's how fast they cure. And which means you can have a floor ready for operations within 12 hours maybe. So you can go in the morning, maybe apply your primer, two hours later apply your coat and then by the evening that floor is ready for operations. Little point I'm mentioning below, beware, beware these, these products do have a very fast pot life, so they're, they're not really for amateurs, they're for very well qualified and organized teams. I've done a video on curing time, so I'm going to post it below if you want to learn more about curing times in general. And, and what I want to say is here, providing that you have an initial substrate, like that the floor is in good condition, you can effectively do a project in one day. Obviously, I'm just showing an example here of a floor that cannot be completed in one day. In this case, this floor is full of oils and dirt and grime. It cannot be done in one day because you have to grind it and prime it and do all sorts of stuff to it. What I'm saying is if the floor is in good condition already and the customer just wants a recoating or a, a simple coat, you can do it in one day. And the next day, the customer can go back to work. So what does that mean fast curing right imagine what that means for your the owner of a facility it means less downtime so i have customers who have commercial kitchens they can't afford to close their kitchen for three or four days to get a proper floor in they can only afford to close one night so polyaspartic can solve that problem right and the same goes for other types of businesses that cannot close for more than one or two days right also for the contractor you can you're going to have less labor costs because you don't have to apply multiple coats. You apply one coat and you're gone. Another benefit for the contractor is that you move on to the next job quickly. So you're not going to spend like a whole week fixing up a floor if it can be done in one or two days because of the fast curing. You can apply your, you can maybe apply your primer. A few hours later, you can apply your first coat and by the evening, apply your final coat and you're out of there. So that's a great advantage. And because it's a fast curing product, there's another massive advantage, and that is there is a very small risk of bubbling. I mean, I've talked, I've done so many videos on bubbling, and I'll post a few links below, but that's one of the problems with epoxy, that especially if you apply a thicker coat, you apply epoxy, and then after 20 minutes, you start getting bubbles, and then someone has to go back with a spiked roller and make sure the bubbles burst. The beauty of polyaspartics is the curing is so fast that there, the, the chances of gas being released is very small. So the, the fast curing kind of disables bubbles, um, which is a great, great advantage to have. But I do want to emphasize, do not underestimate the importance of a great substrate. What I mean is if you're going to try applying polyaspartics on a loose concrete, you're still going to get bubbles because it's a, it's, a tor it's a horrible substrate. It's a bad concrete. But what I'm saying is you can definitely eliminate the risk of getting bubbles if you already have a good floor underneath. And another advantage of polyaspartics is that they have self-priming properties. They bond very well with concrete. In fact, many people argue you can apply a polyaspartic without applying a primer. Now, I'm not going to go so far to claim that because there are many reasons why we apply primers and I've done a video on why we apply primers. But it's definitely something to consider if you're dealing with a very good floor, a very good substrate, you may be able to just apply one coat of polyaspartics and be able to be done. But I'm, I'm saying that with a huge reservation because each project is different, each floor substrate is different. But keep it in mind, polyaspartics do have a self-priming property. The next big advantage of polyaspartics is they are tough and they are scratch resistant. So epoxy, for example, is tough, but because it's glossy and it's because it's hard, it, it can be prone to scratches. And here's an example. Oh, this isn't epoxy, but this is what I mean. Epoxy just like builds up these scratches and then like it builds up the, the dirt gathers around the scratches and it looks kind of ugly. 
Meanwhile, polyosporics, they're tough, but they've got this slight elasticity that makes them more scratch resistant. They are not as glossy as epoxy, so if they do scratch, it's not as visible. They are tougher than polyurethane because polyurethane is also scratch resistant, but they are tougher. Polyosporics are tougher than polyurethane. And another great advantage is they are very good clear coats. So if you've got, for example, a flake floor, a clear coat, a polyosporic clear coat can do wonders for you. And here's an example of some two of my guys applying a clear coat over a white floor. So imagine wherever you need to apply clear coats like metallic floors or, um, or some sort of uh, flake floor. Or in this case, where we applied a clear polyosporic on a on a sand floor so it was this was a uh, this was a quartz floor outdoors and we needed to protect the top layer of quartz and you want to put an, a uv resistant coating so this is an example where you can use a uv a, a clear uv resistant top coat like a polyaspartic on top of sand which is my next subject uv resistance so you can have polyaspartic coatings in this case it's not a clear coat it's a colored coating but you can apply it both indoors and outdoors. So a common problem we have is people apply a coat and it goes up to their garage and then the part that's outside the garage door kind of goes yellow and the inside's a different color. By using the a polyaspartic coat, there will not be a big difference in the color from inside and outside because polyaspartics do not yellow and they do not chalk and they do not have weathering problems. What you will get is you might get some more of a dirt pickup because it's outside and because it's exposed to weather conditions, but you won't get that entirely different color that you get with epoxy, where the inside is gray and the outside looks like a drab yellowish color after a few years. So great, another great advantage with polyaspartics is you can use them both indoors and outdoors interchangeably. And let's move on to the next uh, advantage and that is they can be applied in low working temperatures so not only are they resistant to low temperatures like freezing chambers but you can actually apply them in low working chamber like in this freezing chamber um, so you can actually be the, the temperature can be like one or two degrees outside just above just above freezing I'm talking Celsius not Fahrenheit and you can they will still cure they will still they will cure slower but they will still cure um, which is another advantage because you can't do that with epoxy. However, I do want to emphasize something. Polyasporics are also sensitive to, to humidity. So if you are dealing with a humid environment, you want to make sure you don't have any humidity. So if you're going to work in low temperatures, it needs to be dry low temperatures. You don't want high humidity. Anyway, these are the products. I We have been developing them in the last few years and now we're rolling them out on the market. You can visit our link to our website to learn more about polyaspartic floor coatings and all their advantages. And you can feel free to reach out to us if you want to learn more about polyaspartic floor coatings. Um, a very important point, uh, we do ship to many parts of the world, but please, we're not like Amazon where you just put a tin in a box and you send it. We are manufacturers, so there are minimum quantities, and we, we only ship via ships, which means uh, unless you're in Europe, we can ship by truck, but if you're outside of Europe, you need to have a minimum quantity that is going to be sufficiently high. I'm not going to go into details in this video what these minimum quantities are. If you're interested, you can check out our link and reach out to us through our company website. I'm going to post a link. Remember, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. It helps us grow our channel and bring out more videos. And you can also check out our online course that we teach a lot of stuff, a lot about epoxies and polyurethanes and different types of floor systems and lots of great stuff in there. Definitely check out our course. This is our course, Learn Epoxy Floors. Thank you very much for watching. Much appreciated. Thank you.